people as people return to the metro from the holidays, we're hearing a lot of them cannot find COVID tests. Now that has resulted in long lines and long wait times at testing sites. As COVID-19 numbers rise in Colorado and across the U.S., Denver 7's Megan Lopez spoke with a handful of test providers about the demand they are seeing. All across Colorado, the wait is on. How long have you guys been waiting today? About an hour. The wait and the hunt for COVID tests. So what do you think of this line? It's not too bad. I'm happy to see people are being responsible. It's <laughs> just what you have to do. Long lines like this are becoming a more common sight after the holidays, taking up to two hours in some locations. We spoke with four testing providers about what they're experiencing in terms of a demand. So let's scale up to give you an idea of how things are going, starting with Care Now Urgent Care. With Omicron being so contagious, yeah, we are just seeing that explosion of, of test requests. They run nine Denver Metro testing sites, and Dr. Mark Montano says their staff has been very busy. What we found is uh, the week of uh, Christmas, which was uh, when we really noticed a, a significant spike in in testing uh, demand, but also in test positivity. So they're asking people to plan ahead, warning that you might not be able to get a test right away. Now let's zoom out a bit and look at Tri-County. We're kind of hitting record levels right now. Where community testing lead Chris Hogan says they're doing about 12,000 tests a day. Within a week that went to 100% plus, and we never, we never imagined we would need that kind of uh, step up that fast. As far as testing supply, the vendors have uh, tests that they need. Really, the problem is staff. On an even larger scale. We've seen a, a massive surge in testing from uh, Christmas and New Year's. Um, we have never seen demand like this um, on the sites that we have. The Colorado Department of Public Health and COVID Check Colorado say they're happy that people are getting tested. Anyone who's looking to get tested is making the right decision. The state has even called in the National Guard to help. We have more than 50 uh, Guards members who have come on to support testing just this weekend alone. Another 75 are on their way. So be patient and persistent because these health experts insist the tests are out there if you need one. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.